there are women visitors come to your house and they vow never to come again why not because you don't have skill but you lack character there are men people do business once with you and vow that they will never because you are you are there is no temperance there is no patience there is no joy there is no self-control all of these virtues they are powerful the world is looking for the fruit of the spirit in men even when they know they don't have it is god blessing us tonight yes sir make sure that you make up your mind that i will be virtuous i will be virtuous virtue is not for women so men when we are talking of virtue don't think and say i hope this lady is here no be exceptional look at me conquer the limitation of tribe conquer the limitation of your territory ladies make up your mind and vow before god that i will be an exceptional woman that because of me people will love and honor my husband welcome to chat now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word is that light as you listen and watch may you experience the transformative power of god's life value is first virtue and then skill listen every time we talk of value don't just think skill ladies don't just think of the ability to cook food alone and the ability to do all. no 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 your skill comes later the real value of a person is your virtue what is your virtue your closeness to the character of christ we must continue to fight and contend for growth non-stop every day i want to become a better version of me listen a lady here must challenge herself married or not you must tell yourself i will be so exceptional and so virtuous that my husband will look at me and say thank god for this gift of god given to me same thing with the man that your wife will look at you tomorrow and say thank god for giving me this gift virtue no matter how gifted you are if you do not have virtue and character you will not go far are you hearing what i'm saying now this is very important virtue is a measure of your closeness to christ i always give this analogy that if virtue and skill run a sprint skill will win but if virtue and skill run a marathon virtue will win a day will come when your skill will fail you but it is your virtue that will keep you you will get to places in your life where everybody you meet is equally skillful. Your edge will be your virtue. You will get to a point where everybody is brilliant. Every man of God is anointed. Every woman of God is skilled. Your real virtue. See, I have seen the power of virtue. The lifting power of virtue. There are businessmen today who have won contracts worth hundreds of millions of naira and dollar not necessarily because of their skill but something about the the life of their wife their children or their husband you make that company say no you are the kind of people we want to work with you are cautious you are very respectful ladies Go back and pray. My dear brothers, go back and pray. Thank God for skill, but keep skill and cry and say, Lord, make me exceptional. Being exceptional is like a magnet. It's true. There are many skillful people that are not virtuous. You get to a point where in your managerial rise, company-wise, in terms of your career, you will get to a point where it's not just by your skill and technical and intellectual qualification that you rise again. You get to a point where your edge and your advantage becomes the love, the manner. There are people today, you know, I met a man, great man, wealthy man, and I saw a wonderful person that was a chef to him. And, and I asked, and I, you know, I asked that question. I said, um, how did you get this person? And he looked at me and laughed. And said this is one of the nicest elderly woman this is one of the nicest women in the world and it's true when the woman came in within minutes 
had fallen in love with this wonderful woman, elderly woman, and her the the level of of character and manner and cautiousness in speaking the body language of respect and honor is is almost flattering. I said, my God, where did this woman learn this? That is virtue. There are women visitors come to your house and they vow never to come again. Why? Not because you don't have skill, but you lack character. There are men people do business once with you and vow that they will never because you are, you are, there is no temperance, there is no patience, there is no joy, there is no self control. All of these virtues, they are powerful. The world is looking for the fruit of the spirit in men, even when they know they don't have it. Is God blessing us tonight? Yes, sir. Make sure that you make up your mind that I will be virtuous. I will be virtuous. Virtue is not for women. So men, when we are talking of virtue, don't think and say, I hope this lady is hearing. No, be exceptional. Look at me. Conquer the limitation of tribe. Conquer the limitation of your territory. Ladies, make up your mind and vow before God that I will be an exceptional woman. That because of me, people will love and honor my husband. Husbands, make up your mind that I will be a man of solid character. That because of me, they will love. Do you know lack of character? is what is programming disaster for many children many of us today our parents were exceptionally skillful but they were not virtuous and there are doors that would have cheaply opened today that are closed when you are thinking family life don't think yourself think about your children think about their 10 years think about their 20 years I do not want a situation where my children will not have an opportunity to enjoy a great life because of me. And people will say, oh, you are apostle's child. No. Whether spiritually or physically. is the reason why we continue to strive by God's grace to create that ladder. So that anybody who follows through that ladder already has a road created. Praise the Lord. It is my commitment in ministry biologically and so on and so forth that anyone who is connected to this vision and this grace that by God's grace through our sacrifice that you will be able to climb on it that every time you you are purported to be connected to this grace it will open doors for you this is the prayer this is the desire but it will not happen by default and it's not always the issue of anointing virtue can you lay hands on your head in one minute and say, Lord, change what needs to change in my life. Please pray. Change what needs to change in my life. I'm not ashamed, no God, before you. Pray. I'm open before you, Lord. Do to me what you want. Please make sure you are praying. Here I am in your presence. Do to me what you want. I'm open before you. To me, what you want. Pray, Lord, make me exceptional. If you are a dear lady, pray. Lord, I'm tired of just having skills. Certificate should not be the only thing I'm bringing to my home. Grant me the grace to be exceptional. That my life will not close the door for my husband. That my life will not close the door for my wife. I obtain grace of God from heaven to be exceptional. Regardless my background, grant me grace. Someone is praying, grant me grace. I cry to you, O God of heaven. Grant me grace. Supernatural grace by the Spirit. Hallelujah. 
listen please sit down look at me you must train yourself virtue make up your mind when you dress dress well when you speak speak well don't see people and look and say ah how far and you are bending somebody you are not virtuous you may be human but you are not virtuous how many leaders do you want God to bring in your life with this kind of attitude and you get what I'm saying now? don't get up in the morning and pass people anyhow good morning ah, how are we fine God bless you how is today don't see people and pass and say please you greeted me whether I answer no there is no such thing as I am like that men can change are we together there is no such thing as I'm angry we are in our family we are like that hey whilst I am angry even my parents give me chance is bad change it that's the house of God is a place of transformation please take seriously what I'm saying listen I continue to pray and ask the Lord to reveal to me the aspects of my life I'm not ashamed of transition I'm not ashamed of transformation that what I am not today I can be tomorrow Lord show me thank God for the ones I have but which ones do I not have some of you you need to work on respect some of you you need to work on honor you don't have honor for people at all some of us you need to work on your mouth your mouth is poisonous it's like a sword you can tear down people is something to work on there's nothing to be ashamed of some of you need to work on the fortitude for jealousy little things the moment you see a celebration somewhere and it's not you the senior brother of the prodigal son hallelujah some of you you give up very easily listen if you don't love yourself it's wickedness to want another person to love you why should someone love what you hate are we together now learn to draw your confidence from within first who you are in christ and then second on the strength of the dexterity of your virtue listen you can stamp your feet with all humility as a man and as a woman and say by the grace of god the god of heaven i know we are growing but i can stand to say i'm virtuous it's not pride i told myself and many of you who follow my teachings you've heard me say it my life's goal aside from being a man of god sincerely speaking my life's goal as a person is that god will grant me the grace that i will become a shoulder for many to lean on it is a goal and it is a worthy pursuit in my life i want to be that person who is the first to wrap my hands around people and say god bless you you can make it i want to be the one that when somebody dies i'm the first person to show up and hold you and say don't worry not to say where was your fate where did you keep no 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 make up your mind that in this life you will be virtuous don't just sit down and say why do men not like me why is this it's not just the issue of attack and it's not just the issue of miracle service could this be where the issue is make up your mind i've taught you you can measure your virtue by how much children love you if children hate you believe me believe me something is wrong do you know why let me tell you this because children will test your patience children will force you to stoop down you see how this my children sometimes after service while all of you are standing wanting to see the apostle they don't care they just come and sometimes they don't say daddy bend your ear and i say look at this but it's training and i'm happy it's better to rehearse through them than to mess up in the future are we together virtue character you see people you greet people you do something wrong you say i'm sorry not hey, what is what is it just in love people your words are cultured you don't speak anyhow and talk anyhow and say i'm just like that no there is intelligence through wisdom the house is built by understanding it is established through knowledge the rooms are filled is god blessing us
We believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.